Welcome friends, in this one we're going to take a look at finding the limit of the cosecant function as x approaches pi. We'll do this through a table, not using a graph. But first of all, notice that if you try to do it through direct substitution, it doesn't work because cosecant of pi is the same as 1 over the sine of pi. But the sine of pi is 0, so it's 1 over 0 in other words. This here is undefined, not allowed. So no direct substitution, which means you have to figure out how to find the limit by looking around pi, to the left and then to the right. So let's do it this way. Left of pi. How do you express being left of pi? Well, you have to take pi and you have to multiply it by a number that is less than 1. As an example, you could do cosecant here of 0.9 times pi. That's like taking or forming 90% of pi is bringing you up to pi but to the left of pi. You punch this into your calculator, it's about 3.24. Then you can do cosecant, for example, of 0.99 times pi. That's forming 99% of pi. Still to the left, but close to it. That's 31.84 about. Then you can form cosecant of 0.999 times pi. That's 99.9% .9 of pi. Still to the left, but very, very close to pi. That's an output of 318.31. Look at the outputs. 3.24, 31.84, 318.31. They're growing. They're getting bigger and bigger. This suggests that the following is true. The limit as x approaches pi. Now, from which direction? From the left side. You're moving towards pi from the left side. Of cosecant of x is infinity positive. Those numbers are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you put in cosecant of 0.9999999 pi, you would see that number will be very big. What happens now on the other side? So right of pi. Plug in a value that makes that happen. So you would say cosecant. How do you take pi and form a value that is to the right of pi but very close to it? It would have to be something like 1.1 times pi. That's taking 110% of pi, so it's a value to the right of pi, but close to it. You punch this in, this gives us an output of about negative 3.24. Cosecant of 1.01. What is this doing? This is saying, basically, take 101% of pi. So it's a value to the right of pi, but very close to it. You feed that into the cosecant function, so it's going to be negative... 31.84. Lastly, cosecant of 1.001 times pi. That's a value that is very close to pi, but to the right of pi. You punch that into your calculator and you get here negative 318.31. What is this telling us? It's telling us that the limit as x approaches pi on the right side of the cosecant of x, that's equal to negative infinity. Now we have an issue. The limit from the left is positive infinity. The limit from the right is negative infinity. There's no way to reconcile the two. So the conclusion overall then is the following, that the limit as x approaches pi of the cosecant of x function is equal to d and e. Okay, it does not exist. Just to convince ourselves that everything I've shown you works out, take a look. As a simple calculation, if you take 1.001 and you multiply by pi, now what is pi about? I'm going to put it in here this way. I'm going to basically convert it into a numerical approximation like this. So this is 1.001 times pi. When you do the calculation, look at the number that this outputs. I'm going to bring it over here and look at this number that it outputs. When you multiply them, it gives you 3.144734. Three, that is more than pi, but it's very close to pi on the right side of pi. That's why I'm dead it this way. But that is it. So if this has been helpful, friends, please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.